with their sensational win, Australia retain the Ashes. These are some of the highlights from the fourth test. Australia's second innings batting laid the foundation of victory. The wicket was entirely in their favour and openers Laurie and Simpson both topped the 50 mark. Soon after reaching his 50, however, Simpson was caught. Laurie, scoring powerfully all round the wicket, went on to his second century of the series. Congratulations from Norman O'Neill. O'Neill had begun cautiously, but soon treated the crowd to some bold hitting off both Truman and Statham. Burge didn't stay long, but he made a useful 23. It was all-rounder Alan Davidson's performance which made victory possible. Ably supported by tailender and Mackenzie, he tranced the bowling and made 77 not out in a last wicket stand of 98. At long last, the Australians were all out. England had the not impossible task of making 256 to win. Now let's see what some of our batsmen did about it. Dexter was by far the strongest and hammered the bowling for 76, England's top score. Though not very happy against the spin attack, Sabaro collected 49 before being bowled by Benner. And England was still hopeful as Peter May came in, but Benno, back in his best form, was soon to start the dismal collapse. May went for a duck, bowled round his legs. What a disappointment. Close, after some extraordinary strokes, also fell to Benno. Murray couldn't stop the rot. He eventually became another Benno victim. 171 for six. Instead of a reasonable win, we now face defeat. Allen soon joined Barrington and Murray in the pavilion. Statham stayed only a few minutes before he was bowled by Davidson. And it was all over. A great win for Australia. One of the most unexpected test results for many years. Very different from the